We are going to make a bathroom with the Archipack Pro add-on and a basic rendering. I'll explain step by step and you can see all the shortcuts on the screen. Like and subscribe to support the channel and let's get started! Press numpad 7 to go to top view, shift A to create a plane and change the dimensions to 11 by 3.6. Right click, convert to curve. After installing Archibug Pro, go to create wall from curve and select generic 30 by 300. With the wall selected, go to Archipack, click this icon, then Floors and add Tile 30 by 60. Then add the ceiling slab, select it, add an offset of minus 0.3 and move it 0.3 down. Enable Cycles, GPU Compute, enable the Noise Optics and make sure you have both GPU and CPU enabled in Preferences System Optics. Shift right click to move the cursor inside the room. Then Shift A to add an area light. Rotate it 90 degrees along the X axis. Move it and rotate it to simulate the light of a window. And increase the power to 60. Duplicate the light and rotate it. Before seeing the result, we want to add some finish to the walls. Select the walls, click Finish. Then the plus icon, expand the panel, modify the height to 2.6, the type to regular tile. Add the finish to walls number 2 and 4. To get the material, Shift A to create a cube, then go to Blender Kit, the free version is enough. Click the material icon, search a nice material with tiles and apply it to the cube. Go to Render View and now we can delete the cube. We needed it just to download the material. Select the walls, go to Material Properties, add a new material and assign the one we've just downloaded. Now we can apply it to the finish. The material is already tiled, so change the finished tile size to 20 by 20. To increase the realism, change the altitude to 0.008 to separate the finish from the floor. Apply to the floor the same material of the finish and remove the tiles changing the size to 20 by 20 like we did for the walls. Now we want to add the same finish to the other two walls, but with a different color. Duplicate the first finish, clicking this icon, and then paste. Change the name, go to Material Properties, duplicate the tile material, and then apply the new finish to the wall 1 and 3. Now add another material and apply the first one. To be more clear, change the names to Tiles1 and Tiles2. You need to have both in Material Properties. Make sure to have the first material in Finish1 and the second material in Finish2. Go to Shading Mode, select Tiles2, add a Bright Contrast node and change both values to 1. To add a window, go to Create, Window. Select the first one and put it on the wall with left click. To add a curtain, select the window, go to Archipack, Parts, Curtain, Enable Road and adjust the dimensions as you like. Select Create Curtain and modify the options as you prefer. Adjust the position of the curtains and add a material from Blender Kit. Shift A to create a camera. Center the view, then press Ctrl Alt 0 to move the camera to your view. Go to View, enable Camera to View to adjust the view, and change the focal length to 30 mm. Then disable Camera to View. Now we need an HDRI. I usually use Gaffer Adon, but you can download all the HDRI for free on the Polyhaven website. Go to World Properties, enable HDRI and choose 
Abandoned Hopper Terminal. Adjust Sun Rotation and Brightness. Expand Advanced and change the Horizon Shift to 0.35. I usually change the glass of the window to Architectural Glass to have a better light from outside. Shift A to create a cube. Tab to Edit Mode. Move it 1 meter up and press Tab to exit Edit Mode. Change the dimensions to 0.4 by 1 by 1.2. Make sure you have Vertex Snap enabled and move the cube to the left corner, clicking Ctrl to snap. Ctrl A to apply the scale. Apply to the cube the grey tile material. Go to UV Editing Mode. Select Smart UV Project. Scale it and align it to the wall finish. Go back to Layout mode, add a bevel modifier. To add an external border, press Tab to Edit mode, select a face, I to Insect, select the border and change the material to Matte Paint White. You can do the same for the other faces. To improve the camera view, press 0, then go to Render Properties, Color Management, and select High Contrast. Now let's add some props from Blender Kit. I didn't find the kind of shower that I was looking for, so add this door, adjust the position, duplicate it, mirror and rotate the second door, Change the glass to architectural glass and now we are going to model the base. Shift A to add a cube, tab, move it 1 meter up, tab, change the dimensions to 1.25 by 1.25 by 0 0.03. Ctrl A to apply the scale and move it to this corner. Press tab, enable face mode. Select this face, I to inset, press I again to inset, move this face 0.02 down. Go to Edge Mode, select these edges, Ctrl B to bevel and adjust the number of segments as you like. Apply also a bevel modifier, then right click Shade Smooth. Shift right click to move the cursor to this point. Shift A to add a cylinder. Change the dimensions to 0.11 by 0.11 by 0.002. Tab to edit mode. Select this face. I to inset. Repeat it three times. Enable proportional editing. Move the central face up while adjusting the power scrolling the middle mouse button. Right click, shade smooth. Change the material to aluminum. I'm going to add more props. I speed up the video and see you later for the final steps.
Now let's adjust some materials. Go to shading mode, select each object and change the colors as you prefer. Add also a socket, some plants and a lamp. You can always modify the shape and the materials of the object. To remove the reflection of the area lights on the shower glass, select them and disable multiple importance. And finally, press F12 on your keyboard to make the render. Let me know in the comments what would you like me to model next time. Check in the description the Arcvids playlist and all the add-ons that I used in this project. Please like and subscribe to support the channel and see you next time!